Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another 3D graphing video. Um, so what you're looking at right now, uh, uh, this hemisphere was actually done a live stream, which uh, which uh, I, I just found out that uh, I was muted for the whole time. So uh, uh, I do apologize. I do apologize in advance for that. Um, anyways, uh, for this video, uh, I want to show you how to how to do the horror how to make rings going the other way uh what i mean by that show you do a quick rotation so it's basically like, like the rings going horizontally Right, so these are rings moving vertically and talk about the rings moving horizontally. All right, um, so actually, interestingly enough, we have everything we need to do that. Um, so remember, when we were doing these, uh, when we were doing rings, we were holding one variable constant, uh, and that was the C variable, or not the C variable. What variable was it? I forgot. I think it was Y, because we have uh, Anyways, but uh, yeah, we are going to hold variables. This is definitely, a, we are going to hold the extra constant. Sorry, I'm not thinking today. Yeah, we're going to hold this one constant. And the way you do this is, uh, let's grab the biggest ring. Let's get this one. Possibly a duplicated table. Can't duplicate a table. All right, so in that case, the way you do it is we're gonna have to add a new table. And let's, let's change the color. Let's make this one blue. And we're gonna be using, I'm gonna be using lines. Okay. So I'm just going to use this table up here as a reference. Uh, so the way you do this is you need, you make a copy of this table here. Move as fast as I can so you don't get bored. Tip, if, if, if you a double click or, or to take control A, you will select the whole thing so you don't have to like do a mouse drag. Doing control C to paste, control V to paste. Uh, and uh, if, you, if you want to more about shortcut keys to kind of get you through Desmos quicker. Uh, do do let me know. I'm not going to make a video of it. Just just simply ask how do I how do I do this quicker? Actually, no, that's that's, that's not the right question. It is just be more generic. Like how do I how can I more effectively do this? And if there is a way, I will just simply respond to you. Just no need to make another video. All right, cool. So we have this ring. So I could grab this ring here. So what I anticipate will happen is I'm just gonna simply rotate this ring by nine degrees. Uh, so the way you do that is you would switch values. So you hold one constant. So in this case, a constant. Let's 
wrong with this? Let's get a comma. It went that way. That's correct. Okay, so you, so you just simply switch the x and the y values around, then you'll have this rotated. Let's move it horizontally, and then you'll do the same thing for all of them. Yes, I know it's kind of a boring process, but uh, we don't have a procedure that that can that can do that for us. So we're basically stuck with this. So I'm going to do so uh, before you get bored too quickly. I'm just going to I wish I had to do one, and then uh, then I'll let you do the other one. It's a good view. I think I think it's a good view. Rotate on the y axis by 90 degrees. This go to zero. Point, this point should be the mirror point of the other one. Did I forget this one? And what did I miss? I definitely missed one. Zero, two, zero, and there should be two. All right, there we go. So that is how you would do it. Right, so um, so that is it for this video. Sorry if it if it if it went pretty quick, but uh, uh, but yeah, um, uh, I'll have this finished by next video. And uh, actually, next video, uh, I, I want to do hair because one, because one of the viewers viewers want, want to do hair. All right, hair in the next video. Uh, I'll see you next time.